No, I'm team captain. Can I be team manager? No, I am the team manager. You can be assistant to the team manager. Assistant team manager? No. Arigato gozaimasta. Hi. Is that your mom? No, that was my sensei. I am now senpai, which is assistant sensei. Assistant to the sensei, that's pretty cool. Assistant sensei. Okay. Now, I know there's some rumors out there, and I just kind of want to set the record straight. I'm assistant regional manager. I should know first. Assistant to the regional manager. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to have a couple people come in on the weekends, and I know nobody's going to want to do it, and everybody's going to complain and bitch, and I don't want to have to deal with it. And that's why you have an assistant regional manager. Yes, it is. Assistant to the regional manager. Same thing. Introduce yourself. Be polite. Uh, Dwight Schrute, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Assistant. I'll tell you what I could accept is assistant to the regional manager. That is a real job and one I'd be proud to take. Shake on it. <laughs> Done. Way to negotiate, idiot. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that you passed. So effective immediately, I am promoting you from assistant to the regional manager to assistant regional manager. I wouldn't be offering it if I didn't think you could handle it. I can handle it. I know. I can. Okay. <laughs> So I guess this will just be my office. No. Toby is in HR, which technically means he works for corporate. So he's really not a part of our family. Also, he's divorced, so he's really not a part of his family. So the full story is that Randall resigned because of sexual harassment. So corporate asked me to do a five minute review of the company's sexual harassment policy. No, no. This here is a radon test kit. Okay, I'll be putting them everywhere. And please don't throw these out. This is a radon test kit. Please don't throw these out. See them all over the office. Toby has been leaving radon kits everywhere, like he owns the place. The first time I threw mine away, I thought it was an ant trap. But I figured I'd rather live with ants than with this creepy little disc. The second time, I thought it was one of those, you know, the things you turn over and it moves, like a cow thing but upon closer examination, it was another ant trap, so I threw it away. And the third time, I did it out of spite. Come on, Michael, you're, you're interrupting. You're kidding me, God! You say right on is silent but deadly, and then you expect me not to make farting noises with my mouth? What is this? Please sit down. You know what, we're not gonna die of radon, we're gonna die of boredom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? And if I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. Oh. That's yeah. not. Okay. You were All being right. really funny and then you went too far. I would kill Bin Laden and then Toby. No, that's still. This is a gift for your many years of service here. Wow. Thanks, Michael. I Can I just say you. that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone. Goodbye, Toby. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. And another fun thing. We, at the end of the night, are going to give the check to an actual group of Boy Scouts. Right, Toby? We're going to... Actually, I didn't think it was appropriate to invite children since it's, uh, you know, there's gambling and alcohol and it's in our dangerous warehouse and it's a school night and, you know, Hooters is catering. No. Is that enough? Is that enough? Should I keep going? Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Um, I'm just gonna hand it to him right now. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Why is that? Why is that weird? She said she's gonna give it to him right now. <laughs> she's probably going to, because they sit next to each other. Yeah, they used to. Toby works here again. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, no. Uh, you don't know. I don't know. What? You should probably just meander back there. Take a look, see if, hmm. he's, see if he's back. Dare I? <laughs> you know what, I'm going to, for old time's sake. Great practical joke, Jim. Got me go to the annex. I'm like, no, God! No, God!
please, no! 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 Who do you think you are? Toby. Yeah. Correct. Um, what gives, what, what gives you the right? Come to my What would you improve about Dunder Mifflin? Well, let me see. I would, um... I guess everything's okay. Toby, why don't you open your present? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. No, this, hey, 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 this might not be what I think that I don't even know is in there because there are a lot of presents in my car and I don't know which is which. Suck on this. That's not even my handwriting. Hey! What the hell is going on here? Who thought it would be hysterical to give Toby a rock for his going away gift? You did. No! You made me wrap it. Mm. No, I thought it was over the line. And I just... Mm. Oh, wow, you just dive right in. You know... Around age 12, I just started going for it, you know? No! Oh, help. What, what happened? I fell off the toilet. What do you need? No, not you. Someone else. Get Pam. I think Pam's gonna want to come into the men's room. Get Ryan. Oh, he needs to lift me. And he needs to clean me up a little bit. Bring a wet towel. Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. In prison, you are somebody's bitch. You're always having sex with somebody, whether it's a gang member or the guards. And then you run to the warden for protection and you become a snitch. And then the other inmates kill you. Does that sound like fun? Oh, and you. You, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Is this your car, Ryan? Wow, some pretty I big books back there, huh? Shocks. Hello, Mr. Egghead. <laughs> so. Pam, it's great to see you. Is Michael in? Hey, yeah. there he is. There he is. He's back. And he's with a beard. <laughs> he has facial hair. Look at him. All grown up and no place to go. Hello, Mr. Sonny Crockett. I'm Tubbs. Okay, should we get started? Oh, yeah, let's get started because, uh, yes, because it was a very serious business. Yep, and, um, exactly. This business. is a business meeting. Business meeting. Fire! Ah, I love that! That's right! That's oh, right! Fire me. guy! Fire Don't guy. start any fires! Fire right? guy! You weren't here for that. Here for what? When he started Look the fire. Look how big he is. Look at you. You are so... Mature and old and little man now. You're like our little okay, man. Okay, little old man boy. Michael, everybody. Beard. Um, bearded man boy. Take a good look at this boy. I always do. Come on, people. You know the rules of the game now. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, game. What game are we playing here? Okay. It's called Who'd You Do? Oh. <laughs> I play this at home all the time while I'm falling asleep. What, uh, where are we? Where are we here? Roy? 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 What would you do, Roy? Uh, oh, I got it. Uh, what's the name of that uh, tight-ass uh, Christian uh, chick, the uh, the blonde? My name is Angela. Hey, Angela. Roy, nice to meet you. All right, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's Jim? You're next. Who would you do? Um, uh, Kevin, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's really got that teddy bear thing going on, and afterwards we could just watch bowling. <laughs> Well, I would definitely have sex with Ryan. Because he is going to own his own business. You can consider this my retirement from comedy. Does that include that's what she said? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really hard. You really think you can go all day long? Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so... 
That's what she said. <laughs> Why did you get it so big? A, that's what she said. <laughs> and B, I wanted it to be impressive. And you were directly under her the entire time? That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. Ms. Levinson told you that she was your direct superior? Well, what? Why would she say that? Can we just move on to another question? No, wait, I don't, I don't understand who's on record as uh, saying this. With all due respect, I'm in the middle of a line of questioning. Now, Mr. Scott, what did you say Ms. Levinson said regarding your employment status with respect to her corporate position? Come again? That's what she said? Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Do I see somebody in the back? $450 sold for $300 to me. The hell's that? That's the only gavel I could find. It squeaks when you bang it. That's what she said. We could reduce stress with better planning and a slightly smaller department. We could squeeze stress balls. That's, That's what, she, what said. she said. See the movie. But uh, I think we're going to keep it small. Yeah. Keeping okay. it small. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and the best way to start is to hit start. And up comes. The toolbar. That's what she said. That's what she said. Ha! I don't get it. I'm glad if today spurred social change. That's part of my job as regional manager. But you know what? Even if it didn't, at least we put this matter to bed. That's what she said. Or he said. Well, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> no, but OK. Hey. Can you make that straighter? That's what she said. Did you plan that? No. Can you make that straighter? That job looks hard. You should put your mouth on that. Can you go back to where this digression began? Mr. Schneider, and you were directly under her the entire time. Mr. Scott, that's what she said. Well, delivery's all wrong. It's butchering it. Michael. Hold on, hold on. Judge is in session. What is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> question. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not. What is going on? What are you doing? You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Morning, Dwight. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. <laughs> Weird joke, Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey, hats off to you for not seeing race. All right then, Jim. Uh, why don't you tell me about that sale that you made yesterday? Uh, Wellington Systems sold them 10 cases of 24-pound letter stock. Or were you talking about Krieger Murphy? Because I didn't close that one yet. But I'm hoping I've got a voicemail from Paul Krieger waiting for me. Please enter your password. You have one new message. How did you? No, 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 no. That is sensitive information only for employees, not outsiders. Dwight, cut it out. I'm trying to work. You don't work here. You're not Jim. Jim, I got us that dinner reservation. Greek goes 7.30. Oh, great. Can't wait. Mm. Jim's at the dentist this morning, and Steve is an actor friend of ours. I don't know who you are, but you are not Jim. This is Jim. Um. Oh, do you, uh, how did... Can you tell this gay and who's not? Of course. What about Oscar? Absolutely not. Well, he is. Well, he's not dressed in women's clothes, so... <sighs> there could be others. I need to know. Jim told me you could buy Gaydar online. That's ridiculous. Yeah, probably. He didn't tell the truth a lot. 
Let's call him, get the website. Definitely. It works. <laughs> I got 500 feet of red wire at a flea market up by Dunmore High School. 20 bucks for the whole spool. Crazy, what a deal. Oh, he'll be fine. I made it up there. This is slander, Ms. Black. Slander, I say. I dare you to produce one credible source about this. What the heck is going on? The stock price Listen, is plummeting. The... Are you going to get control of the message, or do I have to send in someone who understands the meaning? Get meeting? out of here, moron! Hey! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Droid, who are you talking to? Uh... What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. Psh. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... For the past few months, I've been sending Dwight letters from the CIA. Are you serious? They're considering them for a top-secret mission. There's his application, oh, and this is where I made him list every secret he promised he'd never, ever tell. <laughs> Last year, my boss, Michael Scott, took a day off because he said he had pneumonia, but really, he was leaving early to go to magic camp. Wow. So here's the gift. You get to decide what his top secret mission is. Sorry I didn't wrap it. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is going to need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good guy. It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. <laughs> the... You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. 